what's up guys thanks so much for clicking on the video my name is leah and let's get into the drama of it all so today the real housewives of beverly hills season 13 trailer was released and in this video we're going to be talking about my thoughts about the trailer as well as the new cast photo and we're going to get into the ladies um, bios so let's get to it all right, so the first two things we're going to talk about is the cast photo and the new intro. I actually like this cast photo. I think the only thing I don't like is the brown chairs, but it, it seems like they're trying to go for like a poolside vibe, kind of like the set that they had last season for the reunion. I think it was like somebody's backyard or like one of the like famous hotels in LA, but I like it. Um, I like that the backdrop is of LA. This cast photo is giving me like season one season two vibes of uh, where they were kind of shooting these scenes on location I think they were at someone's house season one and the season two they were in someone's like on someone's staircase I like it I actually really like it on to this cast uh well not cast photo the new intro photo y'all I hate it I hate this hot pink it looked cheap it looks so cheap and raggedy. I don't like it. And normally I'm a fan of hot pink. But what I took away from the new intro is the placement. Of course, Kyle's going to be in the middle. She's been here since season one. But Erica's on her left side and um, Garcelle's on her right. And I'm surprised by Garcelle being on her right. Mainly because I'm like, I would have thought they would have put Dorit there. Only because Dorit and Erica are now the longest, like, Kyle's been there the longest because she's been there since season one. But Erica and Dorit have been here longer compared to Sutton, Crystal, Garcelle, and the new girl, Anne-Marie. And I'm like, oh. But I think this just shows how valuable the network feels Garcelle is to Beverly Hills. As well as what they see in her or what they see that how the franchise can move forward. Which I'm like, she Garcelle doing something. Because they got Garcelle in promotions and in... um. And, and advertisements they using her for what they can get out of her so she might as well be dead center or right beside the person in the center <laughs> but let's move on to the bios and the single shots of the cast photo the first up is miss kyle aka vile aka my capricorn girl <laughs> i have like a love-hate relationship with kyle like Sometimes I'm indifferent to Kyle. Sometimes she gets on my nerves. Sometimes I, I love her. But I would say one thing. Kyle always gives rich white woman teas. And that's what Real Housewives is always about. So I can't never take that from her. But I think this dress is pretty on her. It's basic. But it's giving it's giving Kyle. <laughs> It's giving Kyle. Um, so her bio goes, Kyle Richards is a diamond under pressure, struggling to cope amid her most challenging year yet. With her 27-year-old marriage in turmoil and her relationship with her sister in limbo, Kyle reaches her breaking point after the tabloids. And those closest to her question her budding friendship with her well-known country singer, with a well-known country singer. If I'm honest, I think the whole situation with the country singer is not as deep as we think it is. Maybe they are really close friends, but I also feel like the internet was hyping it up and overhyping it, but Kyle and Mauricio and them, they played into it, even the country singer, because it was giving them publicity. Because I end up thinking, I think Kyle and her filmed a, a music video and Kyle was the love interest. I really don't think that relationship is that deep, but I feel like... Kyle probably pivoted towards this because she was tired of two seasons with her and her sister fighting that now that Kathy is no longer probably going to be on the show, she's probably in a like, probably like, okay, now that we're not worried about my sisters and all that stuff, now we can focus on this. I hope her and Mauricio don't get a divorce because I enjoy them being together. I really do. I've heard all the rumors about Mauricio probably being out there in them streets. I don't know. We don't know if it's true. It could be. Um... But I always loved them together. It just seems like they really did like love each other and really enjoyed the life that they created with one another. But I'm also not a type of person that tell people to stick in relationships that don't serve them anymore. Like it can't be one sided. If Kyle doesn't feel fulfilled, she should leave. Same with Mauricio if he's not being fulfilled. But hopefully they work it out. I mean, marriage just goes through ebbs and flows. And I think that we have this archaic view on marriage. Like uh, my dad has always said, what works in some people's marriages definitely aren't going to work in others, but that's their marriage, not yours. So govern yourself accordingly, pretty much. 
So then we have Sutton. I don't I hate this. I don't I don't understand it. I need I need the ruch or ruching or whatever you call it to be ripped underneath. I don't like that skirt. And why is why is she standing with the um hero pose? Sutton, I don't like it. I don't like it, Miss Sutton. But we know Sutton dresses kooky, and y'all know I love me some Sutton. So Sutton's bio goes, determined to reclaim her self-confidence she lost during her marriage. Southern socialite Sutton Stratton takes her professional life by the reins, needing a bit of guidance in her romance department. However, she turns to her uh, turns to one of her Beverly Hills top dating coaches to get to the bottom of her one date woes. When Sutton takes Kyle to task over setbacks in their friendships, tensions amongst the groups takes a turn for the worse. So I did see somewhere that Sutton was going to be in the most like beef, like Sutton was going to be in the mix with a lot of people. But I also think Sutton is getting Kyle back for the way that she treated her last season. And it's like, girl, y'all was on my neck. I'm going to be on your neck. Y'all threw me under the bus about Erica and the whole scandal about, you know, telling everyone y'all might need to back away from her. Well, now it is. It's, it's whatever. Lisa Renna ain't here no more. It's whatever. So I'm interested to see what Sutton's going to give to us. So now Miss Erica. Miss Erica Jane. Erica, I think, is in her redemption era or her Phoenix era. This is giving very Barbie tease. She got a new man, a new sugar daddy, I bet. Um, I like the dress. Out of everyone's dress, I think I like Erica's the most. I don't really like her hair. I'm not used to Erica being this skinny, but she still look good. She still look good. So Erica's bio goes... As focused Erica Jane um, eyes um, eyes on a career comeback, and she works to rebuild her life despite ongoing legal battles brought on by her new estranged ex-husband. Things are finally looking up when Erica lands herself a hard-earned Las Vegas residency, but budding self-doubt due to her four-year performance hiatus has her questioning whether she can pull it off. I'm kind of excited because I feel like Erica's about to be in her villain era. And the way her and Denise was going at it, I'm kind of here for it. Seeing Denise and Camille, I said, oh, y'all y'all really coming with the with the shenanigans. And I'm, I'm, I'm with it. When Denise said, you're an evil woman. And Erica says, I think Erica was like, yes, I am. Or something like that. I said, ooh, I said, Erica, okay. Okay, I said, Erica going, Erica's going all villain. She's going to the dark side. And I'm kind of here for it. I... I'm not going to lie. I like when villains on reality shows lean all the way into it. And Erica gives that. And we've seen Erica be called. So I can see it coming from her. It doesn't feel fake. It feels like Erica's like, you know what? I'm tired of y'all. And I'm kind of into it. I also have seen clips of her um, residency in Las Vegas. And some people seem to like it. Others don't. But either way, she got what she wanted. <laughs> so you can't you can't really do nothing about it. But it seems like her and Sutton going to be going at it. And, and Denise and her. So I'm interested. I'm interested to see what they're going to be doing. Next is Garcelle. Garcelle can't dress. I, and I'm mad at her because I feel like you've been on here for four seasons. I need you to go contact the ladies in Atlanta. Houston, somebody to dress you because I don't I don't like what you have on. This is ugly. This beaded mess is ugly and I hate it. But Garcelle's um Garcelle's bio, it says Garcelle Bouvier has cracked the code to success in Hollywood, starring in a film that she also executive produces for the first time when one of her teenage boys unexpectedly confronts her over her parenting style. However, Garcelle finds herself in uncharted territory. Wondering if she's doing it all wrong, she attempts to change her approach with both of her sons. And I'm interested because that little boy did say they, they looked like they were on the beach and he was like, I needed you two years ago. And she said, wow. I wonder what what is his grievances are with her. Like, what did he, what did Garcelle do, or what does he feel like she didn't do in order to help him in a challenging time? It's feeling like, you know, I feel like sometimes kids think their parents are supposed to be perfect, and parents think their kids are supposed to be perfect, and then they have this like fairy tale version of how this person is supposed to show up in their life, and it's like they're human, so they're gonna make mistakes. I think. The response is how you judge whether a parent, if someone's being a good parent, is if your child comes to you with a grievance and you try to change it and make it like, 
you tried to regroup and rework it. So her saying, like the bio saying that she's changing her approach or she's attempting to change it, I think shows how much she cares about the relationship with her sons. So I'm interested. It also looked like Garcelle going to be doing a lot of um, ghost producing, especially with this Kyle situation. So I'm interested to see. Also, we saw um, Cynthia in the... Um, in the um, trailer, I said, okay, Cynthia doing hop, hopping, hopping. I'm, I'm, I'm digging it. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. So then Dorit, I, the dress is basic, but I'm mad that we can't see the front of the dress in her still shot, but you can see it on the cast photo and it's just like a plain white dress. But this is Dorit's um, bio. It says, Dorit Kingsley continues to deal with her PTSD caused by her home invasion, which proves especially difficult after she's robbed again. On top of this, she and PK attempt to work through the, work their way back from an issue that almost cost them their marriage. Girl, what happened? Uh, what happened between you and PK? Because you know Dorit love herself some PK. Dorit love herself some PK. Um, I, I, why did, what, Dorit, why you keep getting robbed? Like, I need y'all to move to better locations or get a better security system because why are y'all getting robbed? Like, didn't the last time they got robbed last season, wasn't it like they're like her fourth or fifth time or something? Like, Doreed. Yeah, y'all need to move. Y'all, we need to move to a different location, a different area in LA somewhere. But I'm wondering what happened to where you and PK almost said it's done. We done done. Not everybody getting divorced. It's something in the water. So next is Crystal. I feel like the outfit's cute. It's like a it's a baby doll dress. It's basic, but honestly, all of their outfits are basic. <laughs> if we're gonna be honest, I'm not wowed by anybody, but it's okay. They got the coins. <laughs> so let's talk about Crystal. It says Crystal Kong Minkoff has found her voice within the group, holding her own after one of the women questions what she stands for. She soon finds she can't win them all. There, however, when her need for control gets the best of her and threatens her relationship with her brother. Who wrote this? There wasn't a lot of pauses or periods here. I wonder what her need to control her brother, because isn't her brother like a, um, like a K, not a K-pop, but a, 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 a C-pop star? And if you don't know what that means, you know, you have K-pop, so Korean pop in Korea, then there's J-pop in Japan, and then there's C-pop in um, China. And I think she said he was, a, I remember when they were on the scene, like when she, Crystal first popped up on the show, they showed like, uh, like concert footage of him. So I guess he, he's like a pop star over there in their home country. So I wonder what she's trying to control in their relationship. I don't think she manages him, but I also saw that um, Crystal and the new girl going to be getting into it. So maybe that's the that's the person they're saying that like she can't win them all over. Because old girl said, you should be thanking me for making you relevant. I said, oh, OK, Anne-Marie. <laughs> so let's get into Miss Anne-Marie. Um, it's basic. Like I told you, all their outfits are basic. Like I'm not wowed by any of them other than um, Erica's. I thought Erica's w was cute. This, I don't know, it looked like two different whites. Like, I feel like her top is white and her pants are cream. But let's get into this bio. It says, introduced to the group through her friend and neighbor, Kyle Richards, newcomer Anne-Marie Wilder is a force to be reckoned with. A certified registered nurse um, anesthesiologist who thrives under pressure and knows her facts. She's not afraid to call out the women when they speak out of turn, going head to head with Sutton and Crystal over a few questionable comments. She quickly finds her footing with with the ladies you know one thing I do like about Real Housewives is them introducing more doctors to the show like you can be a doctor you could be a housewife you could be a multifaceted woman so you know we got Dr. Wendy who has a PhD and you got Dr. Nicole who's an anesthesiologist and now we have a nurse but she's a certified nurse um who is, does anesthesia. So she helps an anesthesiologist. You had Dr. Tiffany Moon, who I think is also an anesthesiologist on um, when there was Real Housewives of Dallas. I think that's cool. I think it's cool to introduce like the medical field kind of aspect because I feel like we don't get that. 
but I like it. I like it. So I'm excited. The trailer got me excited. I it, I wasn't like, oh my gosh, but we know, we know how uh, Beverly Hills will do us. They will hype us up to shut us down. But I really do feel like this new season is going to be a new era. We don't have Lisa Rinna anymore. And I'm not going to say everything that happened was because of Lisa Rinna, but she was the driving force in a lot of problems on the show. So I'm wondering how much the show will be different without her, as well as what Anne Marie will bring with Crystal and with Sutton, like how everyone's going to move on. So yeah, I'm excited. I'm so, that's all I got to say. So drop down in the comments below. Let me know your thoughts. Remember to be bravely authentic and I'm out y'all. Deuces. <laughs>